Hey everybody, this is Paul from Metal Detecting Organ. And the picture you're looking at is the last 30 months of my finds. And it's about the time I kind of stopped posting videos. Um, I was kind of getting burned out on detecting because I had pretty much hunted everywhere and um, the finds were coming out real slow, like maybe a couple wheat pennies in like five hours worth of hunting. And so I took a break and um, started to go back out again with a coworker friend who has the Equinox 800 and been picking up some finds here and there. So as I start to repost videos, these finds will show up in those videos. Thanks for watching, guys. You know, I don't even remember what brand this was. But these are junk. These wireless headphones are junk. And you know what? I am going to spend the money and buy myself the wireless adapter that I can use my own headphones with. The biggest problem with the headphones with me is they always break right at the connector back there. They always break right there. And I got something else that just broke, which I got to go see if I can, if I have any. Um, my coil just broke. Um, uh, the connector right at the base. One side's still on, but I think I have some zip ties in the car, so I think I can manage to get that to work for the for a while. But I have to buy another coil now, or get me some bond glue or something that's going to try and fix that, um, since I don't weld. But I mean, I just told Hap that I was going to come out here today, and he told me good luck. Uh, it's not the greatest of days, um, but I got silver first dig, first dig, mind you. Right down the hole, down about six or so inches, and it's just a rosy, but um, coming in pretty solid, nice solid signal, and um, it sounded more. I mean, it sounded like a like a half dollar. So I'll dig around there and see if there's more. But um, my my goal, there used to be. So back in the day, there used to be a road. That went all the way through here and um, my goal is to hit this little area right here by the trees because this was some um, sidewalk or part of the park at one time and then there's a field over there they used to have houses on it from this from from here over there was houses so there was the road there was houses and then there was the part of the park field so i'm going to try and hit a little bit in that area but i want to hit this little area right in around these trees and boom it paid off Super quick video, super quick video because my audio, I don't know what's going on with my phone, but it cuts out the audio, so I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but uh, this is just in um, manual. I just want you to hear something. You hear that? It's like a normal swing. I'm going to put it in auto. Now you slow it down really slow. So you hear that high tone in there? Would have been totally missed if I was doing a normal swing. That's why sometimes you got to go real super slow in areas, especially when the target's a little deeper, uh, your signal loss is going to drop out. So uh, I'm going to dig this and then I'll videotape what it is because like I said, my audio cuts out after, who knows, it might have already cut out for all I know. So it's right here, it's my target, I marked it with my shovel. All right, well, my target wasn't silver, and it wasn't very deep. So um, I actually thought it would be a little deeper, so I dug down, down, down. Um, it's just a penny. It's just a regular memorial penny, but it actually came out of the plug, like right in here. But still, you can see where it just um, the signal just dropped out, going a little too fast. And there was a small piece of foil or something I saw mixed in the dirt. And um, interesting. Go slow, find more. All right, I just picked up a weedy right over here. And so I'm circling around this little area and this is a reenactment. Cause I got, I was going into my, my it's like, like this. Oh, it's in my dirt. And I go like this and I go, yes, it's silver, hi-ho. I 
and just made the cutoff, but I'll take it. This park is uh, mid 50s, but really wasn't developed until 58, 50, 60. And uh, yeah, I'll take this any day. All right, detecting with Hap, and at a school I've only managed to pick up one or two rosies at. And we've been, I'm hunting this little trashy area here, and uh, going slow, digging some shallow clad dimes, but this happens to be a very shallow merc. I haven't found a merc in a while. So I'll take that. Not sure what year that is. Nineteen, nineteen. All right. Well, there might be more shallow ones laying around in here. We're gonna keep uh, keep going. Merc. Well, is it gonna be silver or not? I pulled this out. I had a nice high tone. I got like a one. 41, a 1046. It's a nail, right? So that came out of the hole. But it's got good depth, but um, doesn't mean much. Found that Merc, 1919 Merc at like three inches. Anyways, I'm down into the hard pack. And I don't know what I've got. But I've also got some big numbers on this too, so. I first thought when I was digging it, I thought, well, it could be a ring. So, got rocks. What's underneath this rock? What is that? Oh, it's a piece of metal. What is that? That's it right there, isn't it? Or is that a rock? Oh, it's a rock. Oh, that's a rock. Still in there. Dang rocks. Whew. A lot of rocks. Wow. Okay, this is hard to do one handed. so dark but there's something here it looks like silver metal and you probably can't see because I can't barely see what this is uh, what is this Ooh, ooh, this is pretty cool ooh, now this is getting look it's got a face on it let me uh, pause and clean up. All right, I had to re refilm this because the, my orientation didn't spin around. So um, I moved on a little bit from where I found it. I found this thing right over there, and now I'm circling this little loop here, going inwards. And I got another signature I wanted to videotape, and noticed that my orientation was wrong. So I'm going to videotape this again, but. This is another one of those fan most fantastic finds. Um, this is sterling silver, three inches by about two inches. It's not super heavy. It's a little hollowed out, but it's but this is about the weight of a half dollar, maybe a little bit more, but sterling. 
And there might be some more writing right in here, which I'll have to get a magnifying glass to see, but I haven't done it yet. That is an unexpected find today. But I'll take it. A most fantastic find. So this is um, spring 2020.